Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Pam's Looks for Me. Happy, happy Tuesday. Oh, I missed you guys also so, 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 so much. Mm -hmm. It's so good to be back in your presence. Okay? Um, I told you guys about me going on vacation, which is coming up soon. That's why I've been gone. I've been trying to get ready for a vacation. So it's a lot that goes with that, getting prepared, you know, things you have to do. The COVID test, I gotta get that done. And it was just a lot of things going on, but nevertheless, your girl is back and I'm happy to be seeing you, 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 and you, okay? So, with that being said, go and grab your glass. Let's get us a bottle. Let's see what we gonna have. I had to step back a little bit, okay? So, let's see what we gonna get. Wow. I'll switch it up a little bit. There you go. Can you focus in on that? All right. Let's get this bottle open. Boys and girls, girls and boys. And once we get this open, I will see you at the next spot, okay? So go ahead, get your wine, get it poured. And hey, let's take a seat. Let's chop it up and see what's been going on with you and with me. Because we got a lot to talk about. We got some things we need to say to each other, okay? So I'll see you in a minute. Well, hello. Everybody got their seat? Everybody where they need to be? Everybody had their glass of wine? It's time to chop it up. Ooh, what's been going on? What? You said you getting ready to travel too? Because your kids is going to be on break. I understand. So you know where I'm coming from. You know, getting prepared. You have to get everything ready for the family, okay? Baby. So you know my pain. I'm glad somebody know what I've been going through. Because I tell you, baby girl. Girlfriend, sister been busy. Look, I had to get my, my hair right. I had to finish out this cleansing. Yes, I finished it. That's why I'm having a glass of wine with you. I finished the cleansing. Mm -hmm. Got it done. Uh, did some meditating. Yes. I learned more about myself. Gave up some control of things that I love and like. Yes, yes. It's, this head is tender and it's itching. Woo! So bear with me, y'all. Um, it's just, it's been a journey. I'm telling you, whenever you fast or cleanse your body, of toxins and toxins go to toxic people toxic things you put in your body i mean that could go so many ways um but that's what i did and it's been a journey it was it was a journey for me for that two weeks i'ma tell you 
<laughs> you learn a lot. You learn a lot about yourself, about control, giving up that power. That control is something. Bull is something. And being focused on, you know, staying positive, uplifting. Yes. But, oh my goodness, I'm so ready for vacay. Oh my God. You know, sometimes you're just ready to just get away. You know, you see your family every day, but you don't. You know, y'all miss that that time that's spent together and that, you know, just enjoying and that talk and that conversation of what's been going on. Because sometimes you don't get that whole conversation um, in, you know, when... You know, Monday through Friday or some of us Monday through Sunday, if we're busy, we're busy. It's more like, tell me how your day went, what happened. You know, let's hurry up, get it in, get dinner. Let's let's do homework. You know, it's, it's hard. So when you get this time and you go on vacation, it's time to like, you, you get to bring up things you, you didn't get to talk about during the week, you know, or probably last month you forgot about it. And then you just sit down and you remember all these things like, oh, I meant to tell you about blase this, blase that. It gets like that. It does. And in a marriage, sometimes we, you know, we forget a lot because we go. We go 24-7. And when you have kids, you really go. So a lot of things just slip our mind. But let's go ahead and get into this sip, okay? Let's do that. Mm, delicious. Y'all already know. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Delicious, okay? Hmm. Y'all know I was ready to get into our glass of wine. I was missing that. I was missing y'all. Man. I was like, look, before I go anywhere, I got to get on here and let them know. Baby girl's not gone. I'm just getting started. Come on. We got to blow this up. I got some plans going on. Yes. I have a journey. A journey. And it's not a small journey, baby. It's a big journey. And like I said, we can take this journey together. What's your journey? Because see, I have plans, big plans. And it just, it don't stop. It don't stop. I plan on living life to the fullest. Me and my wife and my son to the fullest. And I hope you plan on living your life to the fullest. So let's talk about how my day got started. Do y'all know? I know you know. Go ahead. What's the first thing I do in the morning? Say what? That's right. I get up and I say, thank you. Thank you for letting me see another day. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I give thanks. And then, of course, my beautiful wife brings me my cup of coffee. That's right. And I have my coffee in conversation with my wife. And she's off. And then you know my day gets started. Hey, we're calling. And school. Y'all know I be in school. Don't play. This week, you know, we we did some, we just started this week. So, um, this is about the grading period right here. And they're getting ready to, where you going to start talking to the teachers and what school they're going to be going to. Hey, Colin would be going to middle school. Oh, my goodness. I have a big boy. I have a preteen. Oh, uh, yes, a preteen. 
He talking about mommy, I'ma always be your baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. Until that pretty young thing walk his way. Yeah. And he gonna forget all about me. Oh yeah. Cute girl. And already, I think Colin's girl crazy already. Oh yeah. Cause I seen checking him out. But when I when I call him out on it, y'all, he'll swear up and down. Uh-uh. I was doing that. No, 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 no. I know he be checking them girls out. And they be checking out my son. No, I'm not gonna be that kind of mama. That, you know, when I see a girl looking at my son, I I probably will. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Let me stop lying to y'all, because y'all know me. There's no need for me to lie to you. I'm going to be that kind of mama. I'm going to be like, huh, who's she looking at? You looking at my son? I think not. Move along. Not my baby boy. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Y'all know how we are about our sons, about our kids, period. <laughs> I wish you would. Don't come over here. Mm -mm. Yeah, made me have to take another sip. Mm. Delicious. So. Y'all know I like to shop. Y'all, oh my goodness. But it was for some things for the house. Baby. <laughs> I can't really fit no more in here. Let me just, let me claim that mansion. I got a mansion coming. Let me just claim it. I'm going to put it out there in existence. Okay? I'm going to put it out there. Put it in the universe. Because I, you know, everything that I, I be buying, let me think, bigger house. Because I know I'm not going back to uh, Indy. I have a nice size house, me and my wife, that we own in, in Indy. But no, no. It's right where it needs to be in Indy. And I'm right where I need to be, out here in California. <laughs> um. But it's been crazy, guys. I've been, like I said, shopping for the house, just buying things. Not that I need anything. It's just when you see something to go in that particular room, you like, oh, I can use that. Mm -hmm. One of those things. Um, getting Colin some last minute things. He's growing fast. I just bought Colin a new wardrobe. And oh my God, it's time again. So, I bought him some shorts and stuff like that. Bought some things for Tony. Did I buy myself anything? Because, see, I know y'all be wanting to come for me. Y'all always think it's, you know, it's me. I'm buying stuff just for me. And that's not the case. Um, what else did I get? Um... That's it. That's it. Um, I still had to do Colin's hair. Mm, my son has dreadlocks. So, you know, I have to get his locks tight and bright. <laughs> Make sure his hair cuts on point. Period. He gonna be right. And I want his stuff to be very fresh. So, hey. You'll be seeing some pictures of my handsome son. He's fine, y'all. Don't be looking, little girls. Not yet. I got a crazy mama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I missed you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so glad to be back. Um... I'm trying to think what else that I have to tell y'all. Y'all know I tell y'all everything. But something's been on my mind. The word friendship. 
that word has been on my mind. I wasn't going to bring that word up. But for some reason, it's been on my brain. What is friendship to you? Or what is a friend to you? Um, and not just that word, your significant other. You know, you know how they have friends, which their friends become your friends. And you're never going to know them as well as your significant other unless y'all become friends together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think how I want to put this. Sometimes you're never going to be friends with your spouse's good friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes you kind of like, that's your friend. That's not my friend. That's your friend, you know. And um, I get like that sometimes. Sometimes I get like that. Because I'm like, look, you have to deal with them, not me. And if they come to the house, of course, I'm going to treat you nice. I'm going to be cordial. Um, and I never mistreat anybody, you know. But I might not understand you like my old wife understands you. You know what I'm saying? So... You're still in that friend zone, but let me put it like this. I'm trying to see how I really want to put this. You know, your wife likes somebody and, and see them like, they're cool. You're going to love them. You're going to love them. But that's not always true. You're not going to like who your significant other likes all the time. Y'all not going to always like the same people, understand the same thing. You know, or get they jokes. You're your own individual. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, long as your significant other understands that, okay, baby, you like them. And you enjoy their jokes. And, and you know, they give you uh, um, good feedback, good conversation, you know. It's just, you know, I don't feel the same way as you do. And that's okay. It's not saying that you dislike that person. It's just that, you know, you don't get the same thing out of that friendship which your partner may get out of it, you know? I hope that's making sense. You know, it's just... uh. I have a best friend now, been my best friend for years. Do you hear me? And my wife took him on as her friend. So do she like that person the way I like him? No, 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 no. Would she ever understand him the way I understand him? No, and I don't expect her to because I know his ways. I know how to take his jokes. I know what he means when he say this, this, or that. I know that. See, I know how to read between the lines between what my friends say. I know what's in between that line. But see, that's why that's my friend. Now, he's her friend too. But she doesn't get him like I get him. You see what I'm saying? Just like she has a best friend, her best friend, which is, it makes him her my friend. Now, she gets her 100% been knowing her you know, get her inside jokes, 
you know, know her ways, know everything about her. And as she should. And the same goes with me. It goes for you too. You know your best friend, but because your significant other, of course, they're going to, you know, you have a significant other. So their best friend may that comes to where you where you come in and that that makes them your friend but always understand that that's your significant others others best friend they're just your friend okay and that's it so there's a line right there there's a line right there that you you just don't want to you you don't want to cross, um, and it's good to have all kinds of friends, definitely, you know. It was just I was just thinking about that and, and friendship and, and getting to know people and how you have a significant other and their best friend the way that they look at their best friend and the way that you see their friend is totally different. And then you kind of like, I don't get it, you know, like, I don't understand what the, what do he see in her or what do he see in him? You know, why do we want him as a best friend? Why does she want her as a best friend? You know, and, but it's not for us to figure out, you know, they're just our friends, but they're our significant other's best friend. So that means that he or she see something in that individual, you know, that you'll never see. But see, with your best friend, it goes the same way. Your husband or your wife is like, I don't get it. I don't get what you see in this person, you know, but they never will. They never will because of what, what y'all have, that connection. So with that being said, I know I kind of jumped all over the place. You know, friendship is something. You can call people friends. I do. I have tons of friends. You can be my friend until you cross me. It only take one time. <laughs> Baby. One. And I'm done. Cross me one. And I'm done. I promise you. That's it. It only take one time. Um, because you have to keep it moving. I don't have time for your negative energy. I don't have time for none of that. You know? Either come to me correct. Or don't come at all. See... Because it's my choice, just like it's your choice, to be friends with whoever you like to be friends with. So, you know, that word friend goes a long way. A long, long, long way. We can be friends from a distance. And I'm good with that. Or you can be the type of friend that, hey, I want to go on a trip with. You can come over to my house, chill, you know. You got that kind of connection where you want to invite them to your home. They seem like they're good friends. Because when you open your door, that means, hey, I'm letting you into my world. I see you as a potential friend. We don't know how long that friendship's going to last, but it's a potential friend, okay? That word friendship is, woo, I tell you. And I have the most amazing wife, y'all. She's the type of person that, oh, you would just love my poo-poo. That's what she tells people. Oh, you will just love my poo-poo because this is that, talking about me. But she never think, well, I don't know if my poo-poo would love you. You know, she'll never think like that. But that's okay. That doesn't bother me, you know, because I'm used to it. 
And I just laugh because what she sees in a friend and what I see in a friend is two totally different things. Baby, you might like it. You might even love it, but I like it. Mm -mm. I'm good. But like I said, I know how to be cordial. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that need to put on no show for you or invite you to my house and turn up my nose or you invite me to your home and open your doors to me and my family that I would come in with an attitude or anything like that. I would never do that. I'm not that type of person because I believe in blessings and I believe in karma. It come back around to you. I don't mistreat nobody. I don't never want to do that. So what I'm saying to you guys, if if your significant other has a friend and you don't care for that friend, just, you know, let your significant other know. All I'm saying is let them know. So you can say, okay, this is your best friend but they're my friend because what you like doesn't necessarily mean that's what I like. You see where I'm coming from? So both of you get two totally different things out of this individual. And it, and that's okay. That's okay. Long as your significant other understands that, that it's okay. And the thing I love about Tony, she gets it. See, I might not, I don't get her best friend. I don't. Not at all. Do I like her best friend? I do. I like her as an individual. I sure do. I do. And I care and I love her. Because my wife cares and she loves her. So, would I ever mistreat her? No. Never. Because, see, my wife gets her. That's her friend. And see, my wife does the same thing. She gets my friend. It's not for her to understand my best friend. It's for me to understand because you know what? It's my best friend. So all I'm saying is don't mistreat your significant other's best friend. And you have to open your open your mind and open your heart, you know, to know that I love my significant others. That means I'm automatically going to have love for somebody that you love. It's just going to be a different type of love. But don't be the type of person that you tell your significant other, look, if you continue to be best friends with this person or that person, we're going to have to break up. You giving them a choice. It's either you or them. Don't do that. Don't be like that. Don't even put that negative energy on yourself. Love who your significant other love. Have love for everybody in your heart because having hatred and not having love in your heart for all mankind, no matter what, and that's hard. Trust and believe. I know it's hard. But you have to have love for everyone. I know. I know it might be the most nastiest person in the world, but you know what? It's not for us to judge them, no matter what. It's not for you to judge them, you to judge them, you to judge them. No, it's not for us to judge. It's only one person that handles that. Period. <laughs> Baby, I'm here to tell you. 
you're not the one who do the judging. It's not for you to put them in heaven or hell. It's not your place. So love all people, no matter if they did do you wrong, love them. Love them and keep it moving. See, because you don't want that on you. You don't want that on you. See, this is grown folk stuff right here I'm talking about. When you can love your enemies. Yeah. And wish them well. I know people do you wrong all the time. But see, it's not your place to take care of them. They'll be dealt with. Trust me. When you do wrong or somebody done wrong by you, they will be dealt with. Or if your significant other's best friend did them wrong and you like, I don't know, <laughs> you won't come in my baby's life and do him, her, whoever again. That's not your place. It's not your place. Because if your significant other opens up that door and let them in. See, it's up to you to be aware. And learn from past experience what have happened and not to let it happen again. But not to show that person love not to be opening to them. That's not up to you. You're not the one that's going to put them in heaven or hell. He said love all. That's hard. That's grown folk stuff right there. Love all. All. But you know why he say that? Because he has it in control. He has this in control. Not you. He got them. He sees all things. All things. It's nothing that gets around him. Don't do his job. He just want us to learn to love and let him handle the rest. Anything that they have been they have been doing, have done, they will be judged on their last day. It's not your place. It's not your job. You guys know I enjoy talking to y'all all the time i'm so happy to be back and i missed you i missed you okay so i'm not gonna keep you on this happy happy tuesday but just know pam's looks for her is back baby and Y'all know I'm going to go on my little vacation. So if I'm M-I-A, look, understand, baby girl, we ain't got some sun. And uh, you know how they say Stella got a groove back? Well, I'm married, so I ain't going to say I get, I'm going there to get my groove back. But me and my wife gone there to get our groove on. Hmm. And spend some time together with our son and then have some grown-up time together. Yes. 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 
So, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, <laughs> and what? Ring that bell so you can be notified when Pam's looks for me post another video and leave me a comment y'all know i want to know what you thinking y'all knew i was gonna come on here and preach to you so leave me a comment how you feel about the word friend or friendships with your significant other's friends or how they feel about your friends all right and as always, I love you also so 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 much. <laughs>